was a time long ago when women ruled with unparalleled power. Netflix and Jada Pinkett Smith are about to release a new docuseries on the life of Queen Cleopatra, who was the last pharaoh of Egypt. Queen of Kings! Her story resonates with every woman. My name is Joshua. My name is Hesu. And welcome. Soon after the Netflix released the trailer, it got a lot of buzz online and this becomes the most disliked among Netflix contents. The reason being main actress of this documentary is black. <laughs> <laughs> Was the club Patra black? Is there any other ways to creating stories without causing this kind of major controversy? Very important question right there. Mm. But I think to get to the root of, you know, the identity of Cleopatra, we have to go way back. Alexander the Great went to Egypt, conquered it, and decided to gift the land to one of his best friends and bodyguard, Ptolemy. Mm. So this guy begins to create a kingdom of his own you know, ruled by him and after he died, his son, and the journey continued until Cleopatra's time. She was known as Cleopatra the Seventh, and she's from that bloodline of Macedon Greek. Mm. So that's what we know. But we've been told that this kingdom tried to do intermarriage over the years and years and years. Mm. There were some cases here and there. Mm. Uh, we do know that family tree of the Ptolemies there are some individuals that are missing. Mm, when okay. you get to the point of the grandmother of Cleopatra mm -hmm. and the mother of Cleopatra... It's we, missing part. Yes. We don't know for sure who are they. Yeah. You know, were they like foreign girls? Uh. We do not know. We just don't know who those people are. Yeah, it's mm. kind of, it makes some curiosity because they must write the every details of their nobility mm -hmm. and the bloodline come from, but mm -hmm. those two are missing. Yeah, so these are some of the things that are causing this debate. Mm. But if you look at Greece and Greeks, they're not talking about this. Mm. Why is that? Because uh, we can tell it's really obvious that she is a descendant of Macedonian. Mm -hmm from Greece. From Greece, right? Yeah. So that's their girl. Mm. You know, this kind of reminds me of, uh, you know, when you see Nigerians and Ghanaians fight over who has the best jollof, and the Senegalese are just watching them. Because jollof is from Senegal, Senegal. you know? <laughs> everybody all, knows. Yeah, everybody knows it best. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's from, yeah, so they just, ah, okay, let them fight. Mm -hmm. You know, even, even the name Cleopatra, I think it has its origin in Greek um, identity. Mm. Yeah. Then what are the other records which can make the room, like mm. could Cleopatra could be a mix of race? Well, now we cannot rule out the possibility that Cleopatra had other identities other than Greek. Mm. And the pointers are, uh, this is a lady that was born and raised in, Egypt. in Egypt, and then she studied this language and was fluent in it, almost like a native. So why would Cleopatra go all the extra mile to be so fluent in a language that her predecessors were never fluent in? Mm. You know, she became almost like perfect Egyptian. Mm. So some historians could argue that the, the real motivation lies in, you know, she had part identity uh, in Egypt. Mm -hmm. Even though the roots is Greek, but part of her identity could have been Egyptian and that could have been the real motivation. They don't mm. think like it was purely political. I can tell even mm. the start of this um, Ptolemy kingdom was mm. concord this land mm -hmm. of Egyptians, but soon after, hundred years past, mm -hmm. they might belong together mm -hmm. and mix, share the bed. community and the culture. That's a possibility. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But what about different statues showing Cleopatra's appearance? Ah, yeah. that, that's another point. Even history itself cannot agree based on the evidence. Because mm. if you look at the figurines from Rome, mm -hmm. you know, the face, the lips, the, the forehead, the hair, she is definitely a white lady. And then you look at the statues that were made of her in Egypt, and you can see this lady that she looks like she's mixed with something else. The hair, the hair is foreign to Europe. Does that mean that her identity was something mixed based on that evidence? Mm. So we just leave it to everybody who's also looking at these images and maybe wanna have their own go at gazing. You know, you can make your own gauge. Yeah, yeah. so it's make more possibility of 
her identity mm -hmm. uh, when we compare two different paintings and sculpture. Yeah. And um, I've also find, find out there are some different descriptions about Cleopatra mm -hmm. writing and thing, but that was created after, after she died, right? After, yeah, like like hundred two hundred yeah. years later back. So we cannot really rely on those records. Then why do you think majority of people cannot accept this new case <laughs> of her identity? Cleopatra did do some great things. Mm -hmm. She made uh, Egypt function when she was in her 20s. She was a leader who was doing great things to her people. Mm -hmm. So people want to be associated with that. In the case of Cleopatra, with being seen, mm -hmm. the why Cleopatra? Uh, that's a creation of Hollywood though. Actually, we used to see those um, uh, kingdom and the culture. Mm -hmm. uh, part of just a white yeah, yeah but we never um, thought that this could be kind of mixed race mm -hmm. or different could be, yeah. yeah culture yeah. yeah even as a Korean mm -hmm. I feel Asia it's a kind of a really big um, continent mm -hmm. and um, I feel it's quite really different to see when I go to Southeast Asia regions mm -hmm. so I think race cannot become like a flattened yeah, it cannot be. It <laughs> yeah. cannot be as fire. Yeah, and... it's just the inventions of mm. these modern days, the race. So I don't feel mm. it's a. Is it necessary to clarify people based on the color? We have to move away from that danger of trying to set things in terms of color tone. You know. Yeah. So people interacting with any piece of art, they should just know for sure that whatever Hollywood gives you. It's just showbiz. This is just showbiz. If casting a, you know, a lady who is like darker skinned is good for the story, hell yeah, that's what Hollywood is gonna do. I think the audience who consume art just need to always be aware of that. Mm -hmm. And when they fight about like these things like identity, she was Arab, she was black, let's just go back and ask ourselves what's the real reason for that. But I have a question. Mm -hmm. What does it mean for nowadays Egyptians mm -hmm. when they claim this Cleopatra's oh, race? Yeah, I think interesting thing about like uh, North Africa, that was like the old gateway to the continent of Africa. The current population of Egyptians that live there, most mm -hmm. of them are Arabs by identity. But that does not mean that it has always been Arab. Yeah, if you go back thousands of years, we have other races that were living there. So for the current uh, Arab population that live in Egypt to be there and claim uh, history of that land, as long as history has been in that land, I think it's a little bit unfair. Mm -hmm. you, you know, this reminds me of like last year, there was the World Cup. Mm -hmm. Morocco went all the way to semi-finals. And when their captain, I believe, tried to give a shout out to the fans, he say like he, they would like to dedicate the win to the Arab world and Muslims and leaving a whole continent which Morocco happens to be in out of the picture. And that kind of offended some black people. Because uh, people are, at the time, same time, African people are celebrating. Yes, yes. We, yeah. had, we had people in, in my country, Kenya, and all these other black countries across Africa who were rooting for Morocco. Huh. And I think this kind of points out to the problem that exists between like the Arab North and Black South. Uh, the Arab North sometimes sometimes they've always wanted to associate with Africa only when it's convenient, you know? When they don't feel it's convenient, some of them would rather set that boundary, like we are Arab and that's African. And for me, I think that's really, really unnecessary. Like in the world that we're trying to forge, we'd rather just have this land as Africa for us all. So it doesn't matter whether you're from the Black South or the Arab North. When it comes to docudrama, which is the genre of this film, mm -hmm. Um, I think it's okay to, if we can put some fictions mm -hmm. or some new uh, suggestions mm -hmm. in the film with mm -hmm. a mix of facts. So I think it's still valid. What we can do is just try to hear what mm -hmm. documentary wants to say or what director wants to aim for through mm -hmm. this film. The life of Cleopatra, she lived for 39 years, right? If you're gonna tell all those events in a traditional way without throwing in some elements of fiction. It could be unwatchable. So the next thing we need to do is hmm. just wait for this episode yeah. coming on. When is it coming out, by the way? 10th of May. Ah, 10th of May, okay, yeah. okay. Maybe we can look at it and if we have some more points to add on to this video, we can throw in something we'll new. Will do, yeah, yeah. Let them know. So that was our 
opinion and let us know what you think on the comment sections and don't forget to subscribe to our channel because we have so much more coming for you guys see you soon bye, bye, -bye. who is a poster last time mm -hmm. last time mm -hmm. yeah.